ASAP, proven in the field. Before you can hang your tag on a wall hanger, you must first win a battle of wits. If you're hoping for a quality buck, like one of these, to walk within 20 yards of your tree stand, you'd better make sure your camel works. The best choice is ASAT, because ASAT gets you closer, and closer counts. The ASAT camo story involves two unique men, Jim Barnhart and Stan Starr, Jr. Both are lifelong bow hunters and lecturers. Fifteen years ago, they committed themselves to developing a camo that would function equally well across all seasons and against all terrain features. The most intense and the longest running research project in North America cracked the code in 1987. ASAT Camo is here to stay. We all hope for close range encounters with unalarmed wildlife. Here's where ASAT delivers. At 40 yards, you're in the security zone of a whitetail. At 40 yards, you had better be invisible. At 25 yards, most camos blob out and define your outline. At 25 yards, ASAT keeps working. Can your camo deliver concealment at five yards? Even after direct eye contact, this whitetail can't make out the outline of a man wearing ASAT. Hunters wearing ASAT camouflage can be confident in knowing that unlike artistic camouflages or designer camouflages that were created in an air-conditioned boardroom or look good in a coffee shop, ASAT camouflage was designed based upon 18 years of scientific field research all over North America with wild animals and wild places. Experimental designs were tested on these animals until the ASAT pattern that you see here was developed. The ASAT pattern is a pattern that will hide the human form and conceal the human form and it's not a threat to the animals that you hunt. ASAT camo hides the hunter at longer distances. This is the zone where animals first spot danger. Game animals typically scan their world before entering new areas. The ASAT pattern uses large linear shapes against a tan background. This is in contrast to most camo patterns, which rely on artistic forms like leaves or twigs, which blob together into a dark, defined mass at 20 or 30 yards. With ASAT, the result is that the camo merges with the background, and wild game animals get in close, unaware and unalarmed. Many hunters take their camouflage for granted because they don't understand the profound changes that natural light makes in their hunting environment. Second by second, minute by minute, hour by hour, from the time a hunter climbs into his tree stand in the pre-dawn darkness of morning until he climbs down after legal shooting time at night, natural light has made profound changes in the shades and colors and tones of every element in the hunting environment. And that includes changes on the human outline and form as viewed by the animals we hunt. Unless your camouflage can make those changes step by step the same way that Mother Nature's making them, you're going to be a blob and you're going to be seen by the animals you hunt. With ASAT camouflage, you're going to have many more close encounters because the animal is not going to view you as a threat. Considerable scientific research has been conducted on whitetail vision. We now know that deer have limited two-color sight in daylight. Human vision, as depicted in this chart, encompasses three-color vision, which allows us to view all the colors of a rainbow, except ultraviolet, which our eye filters block. A whitetail deer, when viewing a rainbow, can see only ultraviolet, blue, and yellow. They can't see the greens or reds. But whitetails see UV over a hundred times better than humans. That's why ASAT uses no UV brighteners. The ASAT color scheme reflects the long wavelengths of light, and the colors fall below the peak visual sensitivity for deer. 
ASAT is both scientifically and tonally correct. ASAT is virtually invisible to whitetails. There's a rumor going around that a gang of Toms have filed a class action suit this spring, seeking a restraining order on ASAT in the turkey woods. We'll keep you posted as the case develops. Unlike white-tailed deer, some birds, including wild turkeys, have extended color vision across the entire spectrum. Their color vision exceeds that of man's. Yet the high-tech mix of tones and hues in the ASAT pattern is more than sufficient to fool the wariest of toms. Putting the secrets of effective camo to work for you can result in close encounters time after time. North America's undisputed vision king is the eastern wild turkey. Here it is especially important that our camo interrupts the human outline. Here's where ASAT delivers, both at long distances and up close in your face. These are Pennsylvania birds. In Pennsylvania, there are over a million hunters. It seems like most of them hunt turkeys. The big birds are streetwise in the Keystone State, most turkeys are called in during the preseason and are educated until many of them have a master's in hunter detection. The only reason Pennsylvania has so many turkeys is because some hunters haven't switched to ASAT yet. You don't have to lean against the bark of a particular tree if you're wearing the right camo. With ASAT, when you yelp and he gobbles and he's coming, you can sit right down where you are. Your camo will do the rest. With Ultimate 3D ASAT, you'll also get to hear things you've been missing, like purrs, drumming, those wingtips dragging, and the feathers rustling as he fans those long tail feathers out. Getting close has a lot of hidden benefits.
Logic says that green is the color you must wear to blend into the spring turkey woods. Fact is, over 50% of all elements comprising the spring woods are tan, brown, and black, just like ASAT. Don't forget to employ total camo, including your smiling face. And go easy on your hunting buddies. They'll come around. You know, I don't normally do this, but I'm going to kiss and tell. Actually, I didn't dream this up. Barnhart and Star actually taught me about this, and I've been using it for years. And that is how to camouflage your face and your hands and why we need to do it. And there are some really good reasons why. Think about this. So you're sitting there in your tree stand or in your ground blind, and you've got the most incredible eyes in the woods, a white tail, a wild turkey, and they're looking for you. And so what you need to do is think about what's moving the most on you when you move. So you're sitting real still, but you're, you're moving your head a little bit like this, so your face is moving. Sometimes, and you're sitting there and you have to run a call and you're moving your hand. Or maybe uh, there's a bug bothering you and you real slowly move your hand up. And you just, But look at just my hand and my face, they're really contrasty. And that'll work against you, so you've got to think about camoing up. And here's, here's what I do. I, I camouflage my hands, I usually wear gloves. All right, now they've got... Oh, uh, well, there's a number of kinds of gloves you can wear. The best ones I know about are, uh, are these ASAT gloves that have grippers on them. They have a gripper on the front of them. It's really good for holding onto your bow or your gun or whatever. And, uh, and the camo pattern matches. Don't mix camo patterns. It matches. So you can wear your gloves. And look how that covers up your hand. Look at the difference on that. I mean, it makes a big difference. So make sure you cover your hands. Also, make sure you cover your face. All right, when you cover your face, you have two options. You can use camo paint or you can use what I prefer using, which is a face mask. This is an ASAT. It's called Spandiflage. Really good stuff. I wear these all the time. I've been wearing them for years. You simply cut a hole in here. You cut a hole in here. Uh, you can just cut a hole for your eyes or you can just cut a hole big enough for your eyes and your nose. Or I like to just keep it about like that. Sometimes I, I, I bring it up like this. But I keep my eyes out here like this. And it doesn't fog up like some masks do when you're wearing them. If you cover your face, you're going to be way ahead of the game. All right, here's another thought. What's something else that moves a lot whenever you're out there? Your bow or your gun. It's the thing that's furthest from your body and it rotates around. Here's what I mean. Here's your gun. And don't just take your gun out there. Man, there, you get a nice 1100 or something, it's a beautiful gun, take a trap shooting. But when you get it in the woods, it's shiny and glares. The stock sometimes glares. So you get a camo cover. Go ASAT. Here you go. You put it right over your, right over your whole firearm, and it's, it's a gun sock. It goes right over. The same thing will fit on your bow, cover your bow up. But take a look at this. What, what moves the most when I'm moving? I'm moving, I go like this. Look at the motion there. Look at all that rotation. Same thing with the bow. You reach down, you pick up your bow, it's down like this, you bring it up like this, move back, this moving a lot, so make sure this is camoed. Don't overlook it. Okay, let me tell you about the other thing you can do for your face, all right? It's camo paint, and, and we have colors that come in ASAP. There's three colors here. There's tan, there's flat back, black, and mud brown, and there's a certain way we do this. I'm going to show you how I do this. First of all, I take off my glasses and I put some black I use three fingers. I put some black on this finger. I put some, I'll just set these down. I put some uh, tan on this finger. And I put some brown on this finger. I do it, I do it all at once so I get, this, I get the pattern look. Put some brown over here on this finger. All right, now I take this and I make a pattern out of it. I make the ASAT pattern on my face. Don't overlook your forehead. Don't overlook your neck. So I take a pattern like this, I take my, my three fingers with the paint on, and I take and I put one across the top of my nose, one on the side of my face, and one on my forehead. And then I just come down like this, this, and this, and I move right across under my eye, down across my face, and down onto my neck. 
and you can take and get a mirror in front of you. You can take and, and figure out where, where you need to touch up a little bit, but don't be afraid to leave a little bit of flesh tones show through. The flesh tone problem is because it's a big block of flesh tone. Once you break it up with the camo paint, it works for you. If you overlook the fact that your hands and your face are going to give you away, you're wasting your time. So think ahead and make sure you camo your hands and your face. Good hunting. How many of you have ever seen a white-tailed deer? How many of you have seen a white-tailed deer disappear before your very eyes while you were watching the animal? You can still hear the shuffle of the footsteps in the forest floor, but the animal is totally invisible to you. Think about it a minute. If gray and green was such great camouflage, or if looking like the bark of a tree or having pretty little limbs and pretty little leaves painted all over you were such great camouflage, why did the good Lord put on this earth so many animals that depend on their very color scheme in order to survive in a tan, brown, and black color scheme so that they can hide from predators at any given time of the day or night, any day of the year? Hide from the animals you hunt the same way by wearing ASAT. There's talk at Brigade Quartermasters about including a small bell with each ASAT camo outfit. The bell will help hunters keep track of their hunting buddies and won't eliminate embarrassing scenes like these. The hues and shades in the ASAT pattern are tonally correct. The light overall tan color, large blotches and linear shapes work together to make the pattern invisible. The ASAT pattern stands in direct contrast to tree trunk look-alike patterns. Dark tree trunks comprise some of the sharpest edges and sharpest outlines in the woods. Why would you want to be sharply outlined if you're trying to remain undetected? ASAT addresses the big picture, and after 10,000 hours of field research, ASAT has clearly cracked the camo code. If you're currently shopping for the ultimate camo outfit, you needn't look any further. Although the ASAT pattern will never change, the presentation of ASAT has undergone a revolution into ultimate 3D ASAT. The unique die-cut leaf design translates wind movement across the suit surface and reflects light in a fashion that perfectly imitates the mobile leafy elements of the hunting environment. ASAT Camouflage propels the camouflage concept into the 21st century with ultimate 3D ASAT Camouflage. It gives you advantages that no other camouflage type can give you. First of all, ultimate 3D ASAT textures the entire surface area of the human body so that animal eyes cannot focus on you as a solid. Second of all, ASAT Camouflage is composed of 3D leaf shapes that move in the breeze when the air currents are moving everything in your environment around you. And just like our regular ASAT, you're able to make the changes that are occurring in nature due to the influence of natural light so you always blend right in. ASAT Camouflage, Ultimate 3D, the best camouflage for you now and in the future. <laughs>